<laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And good morning to everyone. Uh, Ranking Member Bustani, other members of the subcommittee, uh, I thank you for inviting me to this hearing today to discuss the immediate need for charitable assistance in the Gulf Coast region. As in previous disasters, local Catholic Charities agencies have been active on the ground since the oil leak occurred in April. Local agencies, in collaboration with Catholic Charities USA, are working together to provide services out of five local agencies across four states and to date have provided services to more than 20,000 individuals. These services include case management, food assistance, health assessments, crisis and mental health counseling, and emergency assistance. These agencies report working in collaboration with the Feeding America Food Banks and the United Way's 211 system to handle information and referral. Catholic Charities agencies on the ground report that they are dealing with all the different elements of this oil leak crisis. Local agencies are seeing the different levels of suffering that are currently facing families in this region. It is critical to remember that the affected populations for this oil leak are the same individuals who were impacted by Hurricanes Katrina and Rita in 2005 and Gustav and Ike in 2008. While the news of this past weekend is encouraging, it will take months and likely years for the people who are most affected to recover. So we must be vigilant in ensuring that our response to humanitarian needs continues and is strengthened in the days and months ahead. It would be a mistake to believe that the needs of the people will disappear when the leak has been permanently stopped. Affected populations include individuals and families reliant on the seafood industry for their livelihood. The sudden halt in fishing due to the oil leak directly affects not just fishermen, but also deckhands, boat captains, seafood processors and distributors, ice plant employees, truck drivers, and several other industries. The disaster has also started to impact the tourism and service communities as families are deciding to take vacations in different parts of the country. Individuals and families are also experiencing dramatic increases in emotional and mental health. Families are worried about what their futures will hold. In many cases, third and fourth generations of families are involved in the fishing industry. As frustrations and uncertainties continue to mount, Catholic Charities is concerned that we may see the same increase in suicide rates, domestic violence, and child abuse cases as we witnessed following the catastrophic storms of 2005. In the years after Hurricane Katrina, the suicide rate rose by 300 percent in some regions with very limited resources available for mental health services. The disaster is also straining the capacity of local agencies as they are faced with shrinking local donations and an increasing number of requests for service. In my recent conversations with the agencies along the Gulf, all indicate that the needs in their communities are growing at rapid rates. Catholic Charities of New Orleans reports that people are lining up at their five community resource, resource sites at 3 o'clock in the morning in order to receive services. However, due to limited resources, they are only able to serve a limited number of people daily. Without resources, there is little that case management staff can do to help families navigate this system. One major challenge facing the region is that several national efforts to raise support have received only limited responses. To date, even after a national appeal, Catholic Charities USA has received only $37,000 in donations to support the agencies of the region. In comparison, we collected over $1 million for the 2008 hurricanes, so this is considerably less. My opinion is that Americans are not offering overwhelming support because many believe that British Petroleum is ultimately responsible, and so they are not motivated to offer additional resources. In fact, BP has already given Catholic Charities of New Orleans over a million dollars for their relief work, and that money has been dispersed. Catholic Charities USA is currently seeking funding for our other affiliates in the Gulf Coast. The long-term impacts of this disaster on local nonprofits will also be very costly. 
With no national disaster or emergency declaration, public support is limited and typical assistance, such as emergency food stamps and Medicaid available to victims of disaster, are not available. These families, men, women, and children, and seniors, cannot afford to wait any longer for the government or for BP. They need and deserve a quick response. And for the sake of time, I ask that you would refer to our written testimony for a complete list of recommendations uh, as we continue to face this crisis. Thank you.